welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are going to get started right away with this evening's show. Um, as always, I will be taking calls on the call line. If you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one, the call-in number is 845-277-9100. If you were, if you are watching on YouTube Live, you can post your question in the chat. I'm going to try to go back and forth answering questions in the chat and on the live. I will never reach out to you. Please don't be scammed. Um, for the show, I'm going to do uh, pretty much what I always do, which is to start off with names and then. Uh, probably go into songs. So the first name, we're going to, uh, the names can be your name, a family member's name, a loved one's name, a past pet's name, whatever it is. Uh, so I'm going to say the names and then from there, um, I will go into the songs. So the first name I'm hearing is Julio. The next name that I'm hearing is um, The next, I can't pronounce the next name. I might have to skip it. Um, Gio, Gio or Gia Donna. It's either Gio or Gia Donna. It's one name. Oh, I think it's one name. The next name is Beverly. The next name is Emily. The next name is Ruth. The next name is Cyclone, the next name is T. The next, I was waiting for more on that. There was no more on that. <laughs> the, the, the next name is um, Lester. The next name is Malcolm. The next name is Moon. And then um, if I, I don't know if I said this, Estelle is coming through again and Francine. And those are the names that I have today. Next, I'm going to go into songs. Now the song can be a song that, uh, you love, a loved one loved, or a song that um, answers a question that you've been as asking recently. Okay. Um, the first song is, I'm just seeing, I, I'm hearing Disco Nights but I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing or hearing any lyrics with it, just Disco Nights, that's it. And then the next song, I don't feel like, I feel like there might not be a lot of songs tonight because they're not like lining them up for me. Usually they're like interrupting each other to give me the songs. Um, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, the next song is, um, that song, you know, that song that says it's a baseball song, but I don't know if it's a baseball song. It doesn't say that, but it says, um, I need to know right now, do you love me? Will you love me forever? Do you something? Will you something forever? Let me sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. That song. That song is coming through. <laughs> I don't know why I think it's a baseball song, but I kind of think it's a baseball song. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Okay, the next song is um, uh, something I, I'm hearing Jeremy. Oh, uh, Jer I'm hearing Jeremy. 
And then I'm hearing that song, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. I don't know if those are the words. This is probably just the worst song montage I've, I've, I've ever, oh my goodness. Um, okay. Jeremiah, he was a good friend of mine. Okay, never understood a word he said, but I helped him I'd drink his wine. Joy to the world. There it is. That's it. That's the song. Okay, the next, the next song. Oh, I love, I love, I love them. It is phenom phenomenal. Oh, and the baseball song is Take Me Out to the ball game take me out to the take me out that song okay the and i'm only going to do a couple more songs and um because then we're going to go on to questions and um um the the next song is um and remember i i know the next song but i'm going to say remember this could be something that you sang with them or when you were younger it'll make you remember who the person is um it's that song that goes jesus loves the little children all the children of the world that song is coming in next and then the next song is um well i'm seeing tina turner and I'm hearing the song, but I don't know if Tina Turner, Tina, Tina Turner sings it. It's um, I can't stand the rain. That song. Um, and then, and then I am also hearing the song. Uh, uh, um, it's something about let bygones be bygones. Now, if that's not a song, that's definitely a message for somebody. Let bygones be bygones. Let let the past be the past. Okay, so that those are the songs. We are now going to go into um, answering. I'm going to take callers and I'm going to answer um, questions on the chat and what i would like to say is if i when i call your area code please let me know your first name and where you're calling from and then an exact question and the question it can be about life love or career if you want a message from above please give me the name of a loved one and their relationship to you like Judy, my mom, Bill, my uncle, so that I can bring that message through to you. If you just want a general reading, I am happy to schedule private readings to do that. But for the show, a specific question or message so that I can try to help as many people as I can during this time. Okay, we are going to get started. I'm going to start with a phone, phone, um, 610, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, uh, my name is Sonia, I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hi Sonia, can you please take it off of speaker and put it up to your, your mouth please? Yeah. And how can I help you this evening? Um, I have a work event coming up uh, June 10th and um, it is a um, we're all the Sonia, the company. Sonia, I really need you to take the phone off of whatever it's on and, you know, kind of put it to your face because it's, it's such, I really can't understand you. Oh, okay. Can you hear me better now? No. Uh -huh. What about now? I'm not a speakerphone, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Do me a favor, and um, there's obviously a very bad connection. If you could just hang up and call back. Hello? Yeah. 
please hang up and call back. And then um, I will get you on the next one. 646, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hi, Kelly. Hi, <laughs> how are you? I'm good. What's your name, love? Teresa, Teresa, one of your callers. Hey, Teresa, how can I help you tonight? Board? How, how can I help you, love? <clears throat> yeah, let me ask you, okay. So I want to do a follow-up and then ask a question. So you did tell me that, just so just that your callers know that you are telling the truth and you are real. So I have a, uh, a, a legal matter going on. And when I told you the attorney that I wanted to get, you felt that she may not take the case. Okay, you're right. I did talk to her because, you know, she was leaving the company, you know, would be kind of top heavy. Well, anyway, they told me to keep still looking. If she denies it, just to continue to look. So I did speak to her. We had a 15-minute consultation. She did, she did give me advice. I do have a case, but you know the nature of the case, so that's why they don't want to take the case. So the only alternative that I have left would be to contact my local. Someone told me this like a year ago to contact my local news media and to do a segment for and just to keep my face covered, you know, just to put it out there. Okay, I'm hearing... Do you think that's a good idea? I do feel like that would be a good idea if they pick it up. The second thing I'm hearing is you can do one of two things. You can go to Legal Aid Society and Legal Aid might help you. Or the second thing I'm hearing is go to a law school. Sometimes the professors or the students, not the, the, sometimes at a law school, they will help you with the case also. So that is what I'm hearing for you. And you can do this on your own with the help of either legal aid or a law student, or there might be somebody at a law school that might be willing to help you. Okay, do you think I can win the case? And here's the settlement. I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. It depends on how it's presented. So, so here's what I'm going to say. You might think you have a case of, and I, you, there's a lot of, of like um, wind in the background there. So I muted you. You might have you. You might think you have a case in, um, let's just say, discrimination, but it might be a case of wrongful termination or a case of, um, uh, what is that called? Um, forced, forced, like um, workplace, um, like workplace bullying. I don't, I can't remember the legal name for that, but workplaces aren't allowed to bully or to force a person out. So rather than go for, let's just say, discrimination, you might have to go for like a um, a bullying case. I can't, I don't know what the, the correct harassment, thank you, harassment case. Um, but you're gonna have to be, having evidence of that. Now, everybody knows workplaces force, try to force people out. They try to force them to quit. And if they can't, they try to have reasons for letting them go. So what I'm hearing is you're going to have to provide very good, solid evidence. And if you can, there will be somebody there that can help you. Okay. Uh, 610, you'll be next. Please be patient. I'm going to go to the chat and answer the first chat uh, question. And the first chat question, hi, Tony. This is from Nancy. Do you see the organization that I'm a member sending me their healing system? Sending, I think it's supposed to be sending their healing system to me around summertime. Uh, as of right now, that is the hope, but I if it doesn't come in summer, it will be there in fall. So um, be patient. I feel like it's going to come when it's best for you. Is she going to get it in summer? Yes. Is it better in fall? 
is how should you take it in summer? Um, okay, here's what I'm getting, Nancy. If if you get it in summer, it might not be as viable or used as if you get it in the fall. So for example, if you're planning on using it with, let's say, other people, they might be, the timing might be off. Either way, it'll be okay. It just, um, it's either gonna be summer or fall. Either one will be okay, whatever feels best to you, okay, love? Um, but don't push it, is what I'm hearing. Let it happen in a natural order because that's, you know, people people will try sometimes to push healing or to push to get something sooner. And really there's a timing, there really is a timing to everything and there is a timing also for this. So, so either way, it'll work out, okay? I know that that seems like such a bad answer, but it's true, okay? Um, I'm gonna go to, <laughs> I feel like I didn't answer that. <laughs> yes, it could come in summer, but if it, if they, if it does come in fall, it will be almost better if it comes in fall. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna go to 610. 610, uh, let's start again. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Sonia, I'm calling from Pennsylvania. That is better. How so hi Sonia, how can I help you love? Um, I'm having a work event the week of June tenth and everybody's like I work remote so I only know a few people face to face, but I think almost everyone will be there. So um I wanna look my best and stuff, but you know. I wanted to see what you're picking up for me. Like, how do you see it going for me? So the first thing um, I asked, is it going to go well? Yes. Should you go? Absolutely. Um, looking, you know, looking your best, feeling your best. That's an inside job. I'm going to, I, 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 I'm going to clear a few things. First and foremost, uh, for you and everybody else, let's clear some insecurity. Um, clear and pull out all insecurity. Second. Um, I feel, Sonia, you're really, you, um, you can have moments where you're hard on yourself and we all can. So let's clear being, um, hard on ourselves. Let's pull all of that out along with all that caused it and kept it. Um, I feel like you're going to, you're going to be, you're going to be fabulous. That's what I'm getting right now. Um, so don't put a lot of pressure on yourself just go with the idea that you're going to um just enjoy the event and to uh go with the idea this is just what i'm hearing you can do what you want you're gonna learn one thing about everybody you talk to that night okay go with that purpose if that makes sense because well, you're taking it's every, not one night it's the whole week well the event is the whole week not one day okay so and and again same advice same advice go with the idea um you're gonna learn one thing from everyone you speak to okay and it's gonna be very good because then you're taking the pressure off of yourself and I'll tell you one thing, people don't care what you look like. They don't care. How do I say this? It's not that they don't care about you, but when you're letting somebody talk to you about them, they're gonna love you regardless. I don't know how to say that. I, I think I'm getting it across. And then take your downtime. I feel like you are going to need moments where you separate yourself um, from from the group and that's okay to take your downtime and be by yourself whenever you feel that's necessary. You might not be used to, you know, people who work in office are more used to 
that constant interaction, you might need to step away and take moments away. And that's okay. Nobody's going to be upset by that. Okay, love? Okay. I hope that was helpful. And, and thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question on the chat. Um, Karen wants to know, my question is, what are Jim's feelings for me or intentions? Thanks, Tony. You're welcome, Karen. Um, I can tell you what he his descriptors so far are that you're kind, um, you're cautious, or he's cautious. One of you are cautious. Um, he is thinking. You are. Um, you know, what I'm getting is he's thinking that you are. The word I'm getting is integral. And I don't know if he's the one being cautious or you're the one being cautious, but I am getting there's some cautiousness there and it's warranted. It's okay to be a little bit cautious. Um, the intentions are good. Um, I'm just asking questions right now. Uh, uh, the intentions are good. They're for a little more than a friendship, if you will, if that makes sense. And that can just be a loving relationship. It doesn't have to be necessarily, you know. Um, this, you know, one of the things I'm going to say, Karen, is to pay attention to, how do I say this? Pay attention to what he, okay, thank you. Pay attention to what he's not saying. I do feel like this guy could, I do feel like Jim could be, a good friend and a little bit more than a good friend. I feel like go slow and everything will unravel itself. Okay, Karen, I hope that's, I really do hope that's helpful for you. I really do. I'm going to go to 856. 856, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Rosemary. How are you? From New Jersey. Hey, Rosemary. How can I help you? Ah, whatever you can pick up. Uh, still going craziness. I uh, just got a job, so my next question is if I'm going to get a better job moving and, or whatever you can get the relationship that's, if it's coming in next. Okay, what I'm, I'm going to stick with the job thing because you asked that first and I've already tapped into it. What I'm getting is, yes, you are going to get another and or better job and you will really enjoy it. You're going to have a lot of downtime with the. I don't know if downtime is the right word, but you're going to have a lot of downtime with the next job, meaning it's not going to be constant go. It might be, I don't know, like um, you won't like even though you're on the clock, you might not be working the whole time, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm getting for your work. There is another position coming in. It's coming in, in about, about a month and a half. And so uh, stay where you are for now. And then when that comes, it'll be a good transition. Is it with where she, it's not with the company you're at. It's with a completely different place. And you're going to, you're probably going to hear about it from someone else. So someone else is going to tell you about the position being open or talk about how they're understaffed where they are or something like that. 
And that's probably how you're going to hear about the position. But I always say, even though they say that, put the energy out there by looking for a position and having that energy continually going out for it, okay? Okay, I will appreciate it. Absolutely, you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and thank you so much for calling in. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. You know, I keep hearing this name and it is making me crazy because as I'm trying to give messages, I j this name just keeps coming in my head and it's kind of like distracting me, but it's Jeremiah, Jeremiah. And in the beginning, I know they sang that song, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. I think that's, a, I don't even know if that's the for the line to it. But so um, whether you are Jeremiah or you have a Jeremiah on the other side, the message is pay attention or you could miss it. Pay attention or you could miss it. And I'm just going to ask Jeremiah, are you somebody's ancestor? Brother, father, grandfather, Jeremiah, it, or this person, whether you're Jeremiah or this person was Jeremiah, it's a grandfather. And they are just saying, pay attention or you could miss it. Pay attention or you could miss it. Is this would work? I feel like it has something to do with money because I'm, well, I'm asking and I did get a yes with that. And the, uh, is it like a, is it like a sale or a, how, how is this? How could they miss this? Oh, okay. It's not this exactly. However, like, uh, however, I'm going to give a couple examples of how you could miss it if it's money. Like, like you're, you're not paying attention and you pay too much someplace or you think you're giving them one bill and you're giving them another and you say, keep it. Or somebody goes to, or you could miss finding something that was meant for you, like finding some money that was meant for you um, or you could miss like if you let's I'm not saying go buy scratch offs or whatever, but pay attention to the the numbers or the what whatever it is. If this is this is such a specific message for somebody because of the name. So whatever it is, if you feel like this is for you when it comes to money or anything involving money, don't be distracted, don't be um, not paying attention or focusing, be very focused and paying attention and um, don't miss it. That's what I'm gonna say, okay. Oh. Okay, Julie wants to know is, hey Tony, is my boyfriend Charles, Mr. Right for me. <laughs> well, the joke I'm hearing, well, he's definitely Mr. Right now. Um, I always say we can make any relationship work depending on how much we're willing to ignore, put up with, uh, give up, what kind of consequences we're willing to deal with. So uh, could anybody be our partner and we could make it work? Yes. I was joking with a client this afternoon and I, I literally said, we could find a homeless man and make him our forever partner, depending on how much we're willing to, to deal with and put up with, like how badly do we want it? Um, <laughs> But if you're not in a place, I'm not saying that about Charles. I just thought that when Spirit brought that through, I thought that was freaking hilarious. And I know women and men that are putting up with it. Oh my gosh. In in some some sessions. And they know they are. They'll tell me yeah, I'm I'm really, you know, whatever. And then they'll say, but you know, I don't I don't think there's there's anyone else out there. I don't I don't think I can do better. Um, 
and here's what I'll say. Um, okay. Okay. What you believe is what you achieve. So is Charles your miss? I'm going to ask, is he your long-term partner? Yeah. He has, he could be a long-term partner. Um, I don't tell people any longer that this could be, you know, the one that could be ever after because they tend to sabotage it. As soon as we think somebody's forever, we start seeing sometimes the, the negative in that person. Like, oh my God, I'm going to have to put up with that forever, <laughs> forever, ever, and ever, ever. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I can never be with another new person again. Never, ever. <laughs> so I don't say that any longer um, because some people can tend to panic at that. But what I am going to say is this has the potential to be a good long-term relationship. So uh, still take your time. Don't miss steps. Steps are important. Steps are memories. Steps are, are there for a reason. Don't rush in. Don't rush out. Just allow it to unfold naturally, okay? I hope that was helpful, uh, Julie, I really do. If you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm gonna go to 917. Oh, 917, nope, 917, we're gonna try that again. Um, 917. Hello. Hey there, 917. Hi. Hi, what's your name Can and you where are you calling from? My name is Ashia from New York. How can I help you today? I have a question regarding somebody that um, I was talking to and I was interested in to um, eventually dating uh, last year. And, um, you know, we're getting along and, you know, and everything else. But I felt like, you know, the situation was kind of a little one-sided as, you, you know, it went on. So I decided to this new year. I decided to distance myself from the situation, and uh, so we are like on no talk or no contact whatsoever. Uh, we go to the same gym sometimes. We see each other, but we just look at each other and that's it. So my question to you is: Are we ever going to talk again, or that was it? Um, I feel like no. I think initial if you need. No, no, I don't. I don't need it. I can feel the energy of it. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like as of right now, that answer is no. I feel like there was some hurt and pain and miss, um, and and it, it, it would be complicated to try to communicate because there are a lot, there are some, un, for one of you, there are some unanswered questions and some, you know, a hurt. And I feel like, and I, I, I will say this, I feel like if, if that decision and that choice was made, it, it just stick with it and run with it and move into that space where you are moving on. Um, but don't, don't try to be uh, don't try i'm gonna put it this way it, it sounds a little immature but don't try to be friends don't try to just have a casual conversation because somebody here has some um, built up pain or confusion or whatever it is and and it won't won't work out it will and casual conversation for what like that's just the way I'm hearing it. Casual conversation for what? Um, so it, just keep moving forward, live your life and and enjoy it the way it is and allow um, allow the dogs to sleep. <laughs> allow the dogs to sleep and okay. just move move on. That is gonna be the best case for both of you, okay? Okay, that sounds good. Uh, uh, you know, because the thing is, I still feel tension when we see each other. I still feel tension, but I'm, I'm a, you know, I keep telling myself, don't, oh, it's entertaining. It just, even, you know, just keep going, you know. But I do still feel like there's, you know, some kind of, I don't know if it's tension, attraction or something when we see each other, you know. But 
um, you know, I, I just know I'm looking something better than that. You know? Okay, so if you feel that way, and it's fair that you feel that way, here's here's the thing. If you feel that way, that's good that you know that, and it's good that you let her go so she can find somebody who feels like she's she is what they want. But it's don't you you are correct. Just keep going. Don't don't like it's not necessary to say hi just keep going keep doing what you're doing don't um feel the need to resolve that tension don't feel the need for that okay. just move and do, in your like what i'm hearing the way i'm hearing it is you made a choice stand on that choice stick with that choice and okay. and go because there are some, there would be questions and it, it wouldn't just be a, hi, how are you? It, it could be, but it wouldn't be comfortable for both of you or either of you to say, hi, how are you? So just stand on your choice and keep it pushing is what I'm hearing, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on mute, but I'm I'm also going to say something here. And but but I can okay. let you off. But you can keep listening. Please keep listening. You know, here's here's what I'm going to say to that. When you break up with somebody, and it doesn't matter what the reason is, but if you let them go, great. They can move on with their life, and they can heal, and they can you know, find somebody else and you can do the same. You can heal and you can find somebody else. But if if you try to have communication with that person, sometimes it can lead back to relapses or the person might feel like um, maybe this person is coming back and there's a second chance or they're, are they talking to me because of this, that, or the other thing. So um, if she walked up and started talking to you, you might think, oh, is she trying to rekindle or reconnect or it and vice versa. If you go up to her, she might feel kind of the same way. And what I'm getting is just let let the dog sleep. Let sleeping dogs lie. Don't don't confuse a situation that's already been resolved. Um, let both of you move on in peace and have have uh, new beginnings that are healthy and what both of you can be happy with, okay? So I hope that's helpful. Uh, I really, really hope that's helpful. Hi, Emily. Hi, Sally. Um, I'm gonna go to Sally. I would like to know when I will start a new job. I've been applying and going to interviews, but no luck. Sally, where are you located? I don't know why I feel the need to ask that. I'm gonna scroll down. Hey, Sally, where are you located, love? I feel like I should know this answer, but apparently I don't. Hey, Kelsey, um, Sally, Illinois. Okay, now I know why I had to know that. Thank you, Sally. Um, Sally, I feel like you're gonna find a job that is near a border okay is so either the border of a town a city or a state i feel like you, or right over it so whatever that is for you i feel like you're going to find something right near a border and i feel like you need to expand your search to include neighboring cities towns and or if it's close enough state. I do feel like there's the potential for a relocation, even if you might not be thinking that. And Sally, depending upon what you are looking for, I feel like there is also the potential for you to be, maybe they're saying look like, look near a border because it will be remote in some way, like you might only have to go there once a week or a month or something like that. And I feel like that's going to open a lot of possibilities for you because right now where you're looking, um, there's just not, there's just not a lot of good there. There's not a lot of yum there. 
So I feel like you should look a little further, like, like they already said, I'm not going to repeat it again, but that's where you need to be looking. If you start doing that within a month, meaning by the third week in June, you should find something. And by July, what should we start it by July? Hopefully, yeah. Okay, I'm getting that by July, you might be started. Okay, but you have to expand your searches. Okay, so I'm going to um, tell you that. And, and I'm going to say this also for everybody looking for positions, especially with bigger companies. I was watching a podcast the other day on um and they, they on some some podcast I don't remember, but they were talking about people looking for work, and the whole resume process has changed because of AI. So they're using AI to go through resumes now. So now people are starting to use AI to make their resumes because that's how they're getting actually called for interview so whoever that helps i hope it helps if you are not using ai or chat gpt or whatever that's called the chat thing please start doing it because those are the tools and the resources that companies are using now to they're not even using humans to go through your resumes anymore some companies so make sure you're doing that also and i say this once a week, and I'm going to say it again, take all of your skills and put it in AI and then put in best jobs and see what pops. You might be amazed at what comes up with your skills that you could do. That would be really amazing. And, you know, I'm going to I'm going to say this, too, for anybody and everybody listening, if you are open to working somewhat remotely. Airlines have great benefits and almost any position you can do, almost any position is, there are those positions at air, with airlines, with cruise lines, and a lot of them are remote. They don't care if you're not right there, if you're doing certain positions for them. Um, so keep that in mind when you're looking and go to the websites themselves and submit your resume right through their own website after it's cleaned up with you know whatever you're going to use to clean it up okay those are for my people looking for work um if you'd like to call in the call in number is 845-277-9131 i'm going to go to the next caller please have an, a specific question or an exact loved one you would like to connect with 951. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hi there. Hi, it's the fan. I'm, I'm sorry? It's Nathaniel calling in from California. Oh my goodness, Nathaniel, how are you? Great. Excellent. How can I help you today, Nathaniel? It's been such a long time. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to see if you saw a new career coming in or anything for me. Or... Yes. Yes, Nathaniel, I see you. Nathaniel, I see you. Um, I see you starting something new. And I, again, I want to say July. Will it be in No, July. It'll be in July. Nathaniel, I see you starting something new in July. And I feel like it's something that has the potential to last a little bit of time. Um, so please uh, start. I know you're probably already looking. But make sure you're pay, paying attention and um, you're going for that, okay, Nathaniel? Oh, okay. 
Excellent. And Nathaniel, um, the other thing I'm hearing is make sure you're using any and all resources that are available for you. Okay. Okay. So meaning, um, how would I, I don't, I don't know what they mean by that, but you should know what they mean by that. Okay. Coda? Uh, Did you say Coda? No, no. Um, any and all resources. I don't know what they mean by resources, but you should know what they mean by resources. Um, any resources that are available to you, please make sure that you're reaching out and you're using those resources. Okay, Nathaniel? All right. Excellent. Nathaniel, thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful to hear from you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you, Nathaniel. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question. Oh, Miss Jules, thank you. Miss Jules confirmed Tina Turner is saying, I can't stand the rain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, Nancy said she's she understands my answer. Tanya wants to know any message from my dad, William. I'm going to put you on the screen, Tanya. Yes. The first thing I hear, I don't think I've ever done this song on air. And I have to sing it because I don't know the name. And I, Louie, 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 oh. I don't even know. That's Those are the only words. So Tanya, tell me, I hope that song, I hope you know it right away um i think he says i gotta go uh, louis louis oh i don't know that's the first thing i hear coming through the next thing i hear coming through tanya is that you are going to have um a reckoning now that's not bad that's not bad it uh, there's going to be I, i'm asking for another word other than reckoning um like a uh almost like it is a um every uh william give me another word other than reckoning like a finalization in your favor that's the second statement i'm getting so if something's going on in your life tanya or something did go on in your life or there okay thank you thank you thank you if something did go on in the past it's it's almost like good karma coming to you it's like something happened and now the the reckoning of it that the like if it's something was unfair now it's going to be made fair if something went uh, away maybe if somebody did something something good is going to come to you that doesn't mean that person's going to get something bad it just means something you're going to have like reaping of a reward of some sort okay so i want you to know that that is going to come through for you and it's going to come through um kind of soon now i'm not going to say this is monetary but i am going to say you're going to really enjoy whatever it is you are just um really big smile really big um like it's gonna make you really happy because it's like almost like you see sometimes i'm not gonna say you feel this way but sometimes when we see things go in a way that we feel they shouldn't have and then we get ours or you get yours it's kind of like that like maybe for example like if and this is just an example if somebody you were with somebody that was a cheater or a liar and and they just get to walk away and still be them and you think ah oh, uh but then all of a sudden you meet this really amazing guy and like you're like it good i'm happy that happened because now this 
really freaking amazing guy just walked in and you know made my world go right or not you know partners don't necessarily do that but you know what i mean so whatever it is tanya it is coming in coming in sooner than you think or expect and get ready because here i come mm -mm -mm. i'm not saying it's a man i'm just saying it's a reckoning of something from the past and not with somebody from the past a, a, a something from the past okay i never recommend going back to exes unless that they have had a lot of therapy sometimes shock therapy <laughs> I am kidding. I only mean that a little bit. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. I'm so kidding. I'm sorry. Okay, but if you're laughing, it was worth it. It was so worth it. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. If that was inappropriate, it was a joke. If you feel it, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> oh my goodness, astrology happenings. Thanks for joining the show. Um, would this be a good time to leave my job, taking my pension and work somewhere else? Should I stay put longer? No. Uh, oh, that came out and I didn't even expect it. Um, it is a good time where uh, you know there's a as you know astrology happenings do you do um astrology by the way and do you do astro cartography could you post that for me um no i'm hearing this is the timing is right it doesn't mean tomorrow but the timing is right plan it out and run with it because as soon as you let go of your job, you are going to flourish in another area. So you'll be having you'll you'll get your pension, but then also something um, like I I see um, how I hear the song how sweet it is to be you know that song, and then I um, see I see a huge sun coming out for you. Okay, and I don't feel I feel like if you quit your job and you, you obviously you have to say yes to something else, um, it will flourish. So if you quit your job and you take your pension, there's going to be another source of income that's going to be uh, very good. And it's it may even allow you to have. I don't know if you want to travel, but either to travel or to have travel or something like that. And you know, you guys, there are, if you're retired, especially if you're on your pension or you just don't need a full time or you work remotely, there are, you know, airport airlines, airlines and hotels, even five star hotels hire uh, people to fly and stay um and give reviews so secret like secret flyers and secret stairs um to do that so if you if that is you know even even something like i don't feel like that's it i feel like it it's a completely different area but i'm just saying whatever you're going to do next you are going to well these might be two different things you might have the opportunity to travel i always say opportunity because we have free will we get to make the choices in our lives and you will have the opportunity to travel and to start something else that will flourish and bring some abundance into you those are both choices you have to make and you will be happy okay i don't know if the work and the travel go together but either way it's it's going to be good it's going to be good i want to see your answer astrology there you are um, yes, when I leave my job, I want to start doing readings and coach healings. They are so good. Oh my goodness. They, yes, 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 yes. And, uh, take down, take down my info. Cause I am looking for an astrologer. So if you do, um, like that, please, uh, let me know, let me know. Okay. 
I am, I'm going to go to, do I have time? I do. Okay. One, one, one. What? Oh, hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Beth, lady. I'm in Colorado. I'm Ricky Craig. I, I'm sorry. Can you say that again, love? Yes, I said hi, beautiful lady, and my name is Tina from Colorado. Tina, thank you so much. How can I help you tonight? Yes, yes, it's been a couple of months that I've not talked to you, uh, but I have listened to show you. I have something replaced, and something you said to me a month ago, uh, four months ago, and it came out true two months ago. Uh, so thank you, Miss Green. Now I have a, I have a question. Uh, I want I want to know if I have a I have a good friend of mine that I believe he's like um, getting like exiting out what he's doing. Do you see him? Uh, I don't know what your time frame, but maybe coming coming to visit me in my new location down the down the road or anything like that. Okay, thank you. Um, and thank you for letting me know that um, in your last one, that the, the information you received was correct. I appreciate that. Confirmations are always good. Yes, uh, if he, if, if your friend comes, it might be in six months. I feel like right now there's just a little too much going on with your friend or female, male, whatever it is. Um, I think you said he. No. But... I feel like it might be about the six month mark if it works out. I do hear financial. So I feel like there might be some financial constraints that might be in the way or just like not being able to get the time off of work and, and be okay that way. Because whatever it is, part of it has to do with financial, okay? And so I feel like in about within, no, about, yeah, about six months would be the time frame this person would be able to comfortably come and see you. If it happens sooner, it might be a little bit stressful and it would have to be like a super short get together. Okay. I hope that makes sense for you, love. Yes, beautiful. Thank you, ma'am. You are so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful I was able to talk to you. Okay, I have like, um, I have, I'm going to try to go up. If I missed your question, please don't get upset, upset with me. I, um, I, I try to do the best I can in the hour. What are Sven's thoughts and feelings towards me? Oh, you're a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. We're in Gemini season. Um, yeah. Kelsey, <laughs> we are no contact separation. Thanks. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, is, okay, Kelsey. Um, Ninety seconds. Um, what I'm going to say is, um, the song I'm hearing is you got to keep on moving on. Um, and I'm going to say this and I do not say this lightly. And I know as a Gemini, we always want to give people the benefit of the doubt, believe the best in them. You know, we have the two sides. Um, I feel like you, it might be time. 60 seconds. Uh, it might be time for you to allow yourself to start in a new direction for your own health and happiness and to make sure that you are getting what you want out of a situation. What you do is up to you. I'm going to tell you there are things going on you don't know about and you probably, you know, I'm not, I'm not tapping into what they are because it's just so, such a short amount of time. But just allow yourself to be okay if you want to start over with in a new situation, in a new direction with somebody else. Okay, you guys, as you can tell, the clock is counting down. I love all of you so very, 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 very much.